it's okay. All right, so good morning. And so on this uh, 22nd of February, we're celebrating the feast of the uh, chair of St. Peter. And uh, so then uh, let us begin by singing uh, for all the saints, for all the saints. For all the saints who from their labors rest, who you by faith before the world confessed your name. O Jesus, be forever blessed. Alleluia. Alleluia. So then, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. As we come together then to celebrate this, these sacred mysteries, so let's first recall our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. For you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And so then let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that no tempest may disturb us, for you have set us fast on the rock of the Apostle Peter's confession of faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever, or God from ever and forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, I exhort the presbyters among you, as a fellow presbyter and witness to the sufferings of Christ, and one who has a share in the glory to be revealed, tend the flock of God in your midst, overseeing not by constraint but willingly, as God would have it, not for shameful profit, but eagerly. Do not lord it over those assigned to you, but be examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd is revealed, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Besides restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. 
Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Lord Lord is my my shepherd, shepherd. there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. We're going to try to sing this. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. May the Lord be with you. May the Lord be on your mind and your lips and your heart to worthy proclaim this gospel. Amen. Yeah. Go. You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. The gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to to you, Lord. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do the people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter. Upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. So once again, we find ourselves in the early part of Lent, really just the first uh, week of Lent, and then we have this feast and uh, everything gets thrown aside. You know, that uh, the one thing we didn't uh, do is sing the Alleluia, but everything else, so we, we dress everything in white, we, you know, we, uh, we say, you know, we, we say the Gloria, uh, all of, well, because, well, this is a special feast. and. I suppose on one hand, why one could say, well, you know, you do this all for the boss, right? Because here we remember the, you know, in a special way, uh, the, you know, the position of Peter and, uh, you know, the, the feast is called the seat of, 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 or the chair of Saint Peter. You know, so we remember that, but, but also we will, we'll be doing this later on with, with, uh, the feast of Saint Joseph and, uh, the feast of the Annunciation, or the, or the solemnities of Saint Joseph and, and of the Annunciation. And, uh, so once again, that there's so many times that, uh, that people say, oh, you know, the church is so strict and there's so many rules. Well, there are a lot of rules, but it's precisely because there's so many exceptions. There's so many things to take into account and, and so forth. Uh, and uh, so, so it's, uh, it, it's a different kind of rule, set of rules than, uh, than perhaps uh, that uh, it would initially imply. Now, why do we celebrate this particular feast day? Uh, well, 
First of all, generally speaking, the saints have only one day, you know, that we remember. You know, that most of the, most of the saints uh, in, the, in the liturgical calendar are remembered really on their day that they pass from earth to heaven, as it were. You know, the, sometimes if it's not known or if there's already some fairly famous fe you know, or important saint on, uh, uh, or feast day on a particular day, they will move the... Uh, the feast day over, but you know, by by a day. But generally speaking, most saints, you know, have one day that are remembered. Now there are, of course, you know, exceptions. The obvious one is Mary. That there are all kinds of saints, you know, or all kinds of feast days associated with Mary across the liturgical calendar. And of course, even before that, all sorts of feast days regarding Jesus, right? They, well, from the Annunciation of our Lord to uh, the birth of our Lord, <laughs> the presentation of our Lord, you know, so on, the Last Supper of our Lord, et cetera, et cetera, right? Obviously, we have plenty of you for Jesus, uh, but uh, then, then for Mary, we have all sorts of feast days. For John the Baptist, we have two, uh, that we have the birth of, uh, uh, or the nativity of John the Baptist, which is uh, June the 25th, you know, and then, or, and then we have the beheading or the martyrdom of, of, uh, of St. John the Baptist, which is sometime in August. Uh, we have also two feast days for St. Joseph. We have the feast day of St. Joseph, uh, you know, on March 19th, but also we have then the feast day of, uh, of uh, St. Joseph the Worker on May 1st. Uh, so Saints Peter and Paul, they, uh, they also have two feasts, or I suppose we could almost say, well, one and a half that they have a shared feast of the uh, Saints Peter and Paul, and uh, that's in June. And then uh, each have their own, own feast as well, the conversion of Saint Paul and the uh, chair of Saint Peter. And it's well to remember that these folks were indeed important. And uh, so we do want to underline, you know, the, the aspects, not simply that they were martyred, which was true, but also that each of them had a particular aspect of their life that is worth, worth underlining. Uh, St. P, St. Paul, that, uh, that he did actually begin, you know, as a persecutor of the church and then through his conversion became its actual, actually its greatest promoter that all of us are here largely because of his efforts. And then, well, the blessing that St. Peter receives here in the gospel reading, uh, that, uh, you know, the, that puts, uh, Peter in a special place. And so we remember that here today. Now, as is, is, Often the case in the uh, in the Gospels that there's a juxtaposition or comparison here between earthly power and well God's power or heavenly power, and uh, so one has to say that it wasn't an accident that this played out uh, in the region of Caesarea Philippi. Uh, this was a uh, you know a city built by uh, by uh, King Herod. Uh, yes, nominally uh, in honor of Caesar because he knew who paid him or who protected him, who, ca who kept him in office, as it were. So he named it after himself. But it was, uh, you know, it was a luxurious city there right on the beach, right on the ocean, um, you know, sort of... Uh, Herod's version of Monte Carlo or something like that, or, you know, Putin's now trying to make Sochi into something like this. You know, a, a rich, wealthy place where, where he could live as, as, as well as any, any Roman senator or perhaps even, even emperor way out in Rome. Uh, Herod, when he built this, uh, he built this because he, he also as a child spent time in Rome. You know, he saw how the Romans lived or the powerful in Rome, he wanted to do the same. 
And uh, to be honest, you know, if you ever make it out to the Holy Land, uh, see you know what uh, what the, you know, that 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 place looks like. I mean, Herod had a first century infinity pool <laughs> there that they you know, that faced the beach. That he had the ocean there, and he had excavated a a swimming pool out of rock. Right there, so he could look out to the ocean and yet be in fresh water. I mean, for first century, this is really scandalous. I mean, you know, then there was not just a, you know a, a racetrack, there was a, a stadium. There was, I mean, this was again the Las Vegas of his time, uh, where the rich and powerful of that region could go and meet. And so, outside there, in that region, this is where Jesus has this conversation. And, uh, and he's talking to, uh, 12 quite humble men, uh, who he picked, uh, and, uh, you know, then he's asking, well, who do you say that I am? And, you know, and so forth. And then, uh, you know, then here's St. Peter, a fisherman, you know, who, wouldn't have had much formal education. He'd have some because, uh, because, uh, you know, the, the Jews of his time had to know how to read, you know, as part of their, their ceremony, as it were, you know, to, uh, to be to manhood, right? The, you know, bar mitzvahs and all that. So he had to know a little bit, you know, he wasn't completely without education, but nothing compared to what, uh, what, you know, the rich and powerful would have had. And certainly he was a humble fisherman. He had, no riches of this sort, and God and Jesus blesses him here, right? And you, I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld will not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven, and whoever, whatever you bind on earth, you shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. You know, the juxtaposition that a regular guy is put in charge of such authority rather than someone who's important or wealthy was really, really striking. And so this is what we then remember on this day of who Jesus picked, of why Jesus picked him. You know, he rewarded him here really because he was the only one who was brave enough to answer the question. <laughs> You know, something to remember here, too, that God does, in fact, reward uh, or bravery, you know, in, in this sense, uh, you know, that, but also just simply that he, um, you know, that, uh, that he wanted to show us that his kingdom includes everyone, not just simply those who, who deem themselves important. Okay, very good. So please then let us stand and let us then, then pray. And so then we, well, we first pray for the church on this day that it always and everywhere continue to proclaim a message of hope to all. For this, let us pray to the Lord. You know, we always pray here for for our leaders, but really that they uh, remember you know, that they, that all leaders here on this day perhaps remember the, both the humility and yes, the courage here of of, of Saint Peter uh, you know, as they make their own decisions. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our community here. That uh, you know, we have no casino here. We're you know, we're we're not in this part of <laughs> town. We you know that. Uh, Fullerton's not necessarily not a bad place to live. It's a nice place, really, but uh, but it's not Laguna Beach or Newport Beach or you know, or uh, Beverly Hills. You know, that we be we be happy with what we have, and we also be happy above all with the blessing that we receive from God. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. Let's then pray for those who find themselves uh, in, the, in need. And uh, as always, we first pray for those who are, who are unemployed these days or who are looking for work uh, for more to, so that they can pay their bills, that they can uh, find work that is safe. Uh, for this, let us pray to the Lord. We pray then for those who find themselves ill. And then so first, for those who just simply, who find themselves ill of any number of diseases that, that uh, continually affect us, that would be Maria Diaz, uh, Carmen Medina, Jose Torres, uh, Irineo Plietes, uh, David Carpio, James and Eileen Chauvin. And then those uh, in, in our parish book of the sick, and particularly those who are affected by COVID, Hector uh, Mojaras, 
Ruth Enriquez, Reinaldo uh, Gonzalez, Hermina Muñoz, Catalina Gar Garcia, Mary Hodgkin, uh, Alberto Castro, Maria Gonzalez Lopez, uh, Jasmine Guiardo Palifax, Lourdes Palifax, uh, Teresa Quinones, and the Martinez family. For all of them, let us pray to the Lord. We pray then for those who've recently died, and again, of various incidents and so forth. We pray for Maria Gonzalez Lopez, Anthony Guevara, who's the nephew of, uh, of uh, Maria Guevara. You know, his story, he went out to Florida you know, the, uh, uh, on a trip and ended up dying there of a heart attack. So we pray for him and his family. We pray also then for Diane Videto, Gina Wolf, Catalina Vargas de Cerda, Tubircio Corrio, uh, Manuel Gomez, uh, Jack Schaefer, Vanessa Santos, and then those uh, in particular who died of COVID, Adelmira Bravo, Maria del Carmen Alvarado Pinero, uh, Jose Daniel Ramos, Maria del Pilar Valencia Hernandez, and Ramon, Father Ramon Vasquez. For, to, for all of them, let us pray to the Lord. And uh, in, let's see, we pray in a special way on this day for the repose of the soul of Kevin Rowett, the intention of this Mass for him and his family. We pray to the Lord. And then we uh, yeah, then uh, yeah, the, we pray then uh, in silence for our own special needs. We pray to the Lord, Almighty God. We present these our petitions to you on this day. We ask that you hear them and that you grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please, please be seated. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry. Okay. So blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread that we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine that we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, will become for us our spiritual drink. Be God forever. Lord, wash me my iniquities, please, and to cleanse me from my sins. Our sacrifice is ready, so please pray, brothers and sisters, our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. So accept with favor, O Lord, uh, the prayers and offerings of your church, that uh, with St. Peter as, your she as her shepherd, we, uh, she may come to an eternal inheritance, for it is through his teaching that she holds the faith in its integrity, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, our Ho Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For uh, you, uh, Eternal Shepherd, do, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those who you have appointed shepherds, 
and uh, to lead it in the name of your Son. And so then with the angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus the Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. Giving you thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, profess your resurrection, and do to come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the uh, memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, and then with the rest of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed St. Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, the martyrs, the seven holy founders of the Servite Order, St. Philip Benizi uh, uh, here in our church, uh, St. Well, Peter recalling his position on this day, and all the saints who've pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. For it is through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, that all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please then let us stand. Now let us then pray together the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but rather on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with each other the sign of peace. Peace with you, peace, yes. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
O Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Please grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. All right, and so we pray the act of spiritual communion here in favor of those who are following us here on the internet. So please repeat after me. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. From you. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. body of Christ. Amen. The 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 body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ, body of Christ, body of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. 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 Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Yeah. May the Lord bless you on this day. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The 
Okay, so please let us stand. Uh, just as an announcement, and it's really for the for next week, that we will actually have a parish mission this year. It will be offered uh, yeah, via Zoom. Okay, uh, Greg, uh, Greg Walgenbach, uh, parishioner here, uh, he's actually going to be offering uh, that mission. Uh, it, yes, it will be offered on Zoom in uh, Spanish on Mondays at 7 p.m. and in English on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Okay, you may be afraid of Zoom. If you're afraid of Zoom, come here. We will set up, uh, we will have a setup here with a widescreen TV and a, a, a camera and a, uh, and a microphone so you can participate here, you know, uh, uh, in a nice way. But uh, it, it, it offers a nice way to, uh, to offer a mission and it actually offers a nice way for, you know, for Greg to be able to give one. Because many of you will know, of course, we've been praying for him and his family because he came down in can with cancer during this time. And so you know, if, if everything was healthy, he wouldn't be able to give it uh, from here, but he can do it from his home. And uh, so it gives him a chance to compart his wisdom uh, with us uh, here. So that begins next week, okay? But just keep it in your in your heads, all right? Very good. And on Wednesdays, it will be in English, all right? Good. Let us pray. Oh, God, you know, at our celebration of this feast day of, uh, of uh, blessed uh, Apostle Peter, you have nourished us by, uh, by communion in the body and blood of Christ. Grant, we pray, that, uh, his, uh, that his redeeming, this redeeming exchange may be for us a sacrament of unity and of peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. And let you all right. And then let us salute Mary. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Very good. Very good. Yeah.